Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. It's Brianna Ray from BriIY here to bring you 3D printing fun. So right in front of me, I have the Ender V3 or V2 or something, One V something, I can't totally remember. I actually had this in my uh, collection of craft supplies now for quite a while. I believe I got this for my birthday last year, which means I've had it for a little over six months. This video is not the first time I'm going to attempt it, although I'm going to call it trying my 3D printer for the first time because I still have not been able to successfully use it. With a mixture of not having really the time, um, I only have a handful of grounded outlets in my home, so I have to bring it into the kitchen, and it has to be monitored so that my cats don't chew or touch in any of the cards. So it's been a little bit difficult for me to find the right time and place to make this project work. I did try it once other time, I did not try to film it because I was really just trying to like do some test things and see if I could create a video of me like building my own models or doing something like that. Um, so today really is just going to be a can I get this thing to work video. And I am so serious when I say that I've tried. I really have tried. Here was the closest attempt I ever managed. Um, on like a two hour print, I think it's a dog, it's something that came in the um, machine itself. Um, so I know it's something that obviously is designed to work. Uh, it did not complete very well. It kind of, you know, started dragging in places. I'm not sure what happened here. I think it must have gotten peeled off. This was uh, another attempt at some point of the same, same um, slice, I suppose they're called. I cannot <laughs> figure this out. Um, I do have an auto leveler attached here. I have leveled the bed. Um, I've done a lot of those kind of off camera, like tweaking specific things, obviously, and of course built the machine, which did take several hours with my husband's assistance. So I'm really just super excited to see if I can finally get this thing to work. Um, and I wanted to take you guys along on the journey with me. One of the most annoying things I've had to deal with with this machine is this button right here. You can see it's kind of got like a really long zip tie and tape attached to it. So when it's like kind of getting its stuff together, this bed here is going to move all the way back kind of like this. Um, and it's supposed to push this button that's attached to it back to let it know that it's gone far enough or it gets really jacked. Um, unfortunately, it's not tall enough or it doesn't get pushed the way that it needs to. So I had to kind of MacGyver this like tape and zip tie situation to make that happen. Uh, but that's not even really the reason I brought you back here. I brought you back here because I wanted to turn this baby on with you. So I don't know, just know that there's, if you ever get one of these machines, it's not a jump right in sort of thing like the laser engraver was. All right, there we go. There's all the sounds. Got everything kind of functioning up here. Here's my auto leveler. It does have kind of like a little thing on the bottom that'll inform it when it's kind of touched the base. Um, I've got my base, this will heat up. This guy's gonna heat up, which also has the um, filament going through it. I will also say this was a giant pain to get in. Um, overall, this was not a super easy startup, but now that I've kind of got the hang of it, I think I've got the hang of it. Alright, so my suspicion up to this point that has led me to this level of mess is simply that I am not sure if this is all going um, as close as it needs to because if it's up too high then it doesn't stick to the bed um, but if it's too low then it drags you know like kind of comes over and then the whole thing starts kind of doing this on the bed which I don't want either so I've preheated everything or it's in the process of preheating right now. The filament is almost preheated. The bed is about where it needs to be. Um, so I'm getting close to the point where I want to print, but I'm going to try again to figure out what my, I think it's called the Z offset has to be. So I've heard a lot of different things about what this should look like, how it should go, whatever. Um, but most people agree that you should be able to put a piece of paper underneath, like just a piece of paper underneath. So I kind of got a little bit of stray filament here that I'm going to pull out. But I should be able to kind of shove this underneath. And then I can drag this like somewhat closer to 
the bed, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna click into print here. Oh, there's no files. Where did they go? I have a drawer under here. Ah, uh, yeah. This little guy um, has all of the files in it. So this takes the tiny little micro SD card. You just kind of shove it in, give it a click, um, and we should be good to go. Okay, cool. So it has a couple of different things in here, basic information, user manual, troubleshooting, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but here, these are the actual items. So it'll tell you that you can print a dog in two hours, a cat in three and a half hours. Um, this is one that I tried to do. Um, I did it wrong because I didn't have enough information on how to slice yet. So these, the cat and the dog came with the material. So I am going to, again, attempt the dog just because I want to see how it goes. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to press down on it and it's going to start going. Oh, it's a little flat. So this over here was kind of like the test strand it looked like, but now it looks like it's almost too squashed. Ooh, what's happening? It doesn't look good. See, this is this is what I'm talking about. This is like stressful. I'm big time stressed out. I think it's supposed to be leaving anything behind and it's not. So we're gonna stop this and try again. Okay, and we are already to see, able to see this one failing because it started dragging clearly too much. Um, so I'm gonna put this guy out. So you can see, instead of making the circle, as it moved around, it kind of just flopped, I guess. So that's how I know it's too high. And I can peel these off, which is super satisfying, I will admit. But I just can't help but feel like I'm wasting so much filament trying to get this stuff figured out. Ooh. Okay guys, it actually seems to be working about now. There was like a tiny, tiny, tiny flub at the very beginning, but it does seem to be working now. Um, the lines seem pretty clear. I'm going to let this go for a little bit and I will check back. I'm gonna try to hyperlapse through as much of this as possible, but my phone is also my camera, so if I need to call someone or if I get a text message, it might have to stop. So <laughs> we'll see. Alright, so at present I'm a touch confused because I'm sure you saw when I clicked it, it said it would be two hours. Now we're about mm, 16 minutes in according to this guy here. And the remain okay, well the remaining time just went down by like an hour. Okay, maybe I'm just crazy. That must be it. Um, overall it's looking a lot better than uh, this guy did at this point. So we shall see how this goes. All right, back at this for a little update. 17% through, looks like three hours and 37 minutes remaining, 47 minutes in. Um, it's looking kind of interesting. I have no idea what's happening exactly, um, but this is as far as I've gotten. I mean, you know, compared to the, the last attempt, we're doing pretty good. Holy crap, look, it's a tiny dog. No freaking way. I cannot believe it's working. Ah! It is 99% done and I am jazzed. It's also done kind of early. Look how cute. Uh, uh, it doesn't want to focus. No way! <gasps> Holy heck! And it took 45 minutes less than predicted. Whew! You can also see now that it's done printing, everything is immediately cooling off, um, which is a nice safety feature. 
So I have no idea why exactly. Um, this happened what this like weird outer circle is or what any of these like lines on the inside of the stand are for i have no clue now i wonder if i could just pop it off nope it is not popping off so i just provided this scraper so when we get up nice and close you can kind of see all the lines there is maybe like a slight imperfection in this like central line here between the pupils um and a little bit on the very top most detailed parts but overall i mean it made a dog right like <laughs> uh, i finally successfully 3d printed something like s literally seven what's today today is like the 19th seven <laughs> months almost exactly since i got this thing and i finally managed to get it to work and I'm so jazzed, it's so cute. I wonder if I'm supposed to pull it off of this or I don't think I am. Cause I can't fully tell what like these lines are for. Like, what does this mean? Should I try to peel it off? I'm gonna, I don't know. I didn't actually hit record on any of that, but yeah, you were able to kind of scrape them off. There were some support pieces that kind of came off with them. So now I'm wondering if I was actually supposed to peel them off or not, but there does seem to be like a nice, like flat place compared to like some of the open spaces underneath the body. So I'm not actually sure if I was supposed to peel him off or not, but he does come off. Um, and I kind of just want to smooth out some of his harsher areas. So I have this sanding block. Um, it's a little very fine grit because I'm not trying to like scratch up the surface so much. Just kind of refine some of the spikier bits, I guess. He's really cute. I'm actually really excited. I kind of want to like paint him a little bit and see how he turns out, but he's cute. Guys, I can't believe it worked. <laughs> All right, well, I did what I came to do. I quite like him. I think I'm gonna try to maybe do the cat or some other sort of design just to kind of make sure that these are the settings that I need to stick with, which is a 0.5 um, or a 1.5 Z offset and a zero on just about everything else, making sure everything was preheated. Um, and my bed does appear to be at kind of the right place. So I am super, super happy with the way that this came out. And maybe it was just seven months of failure that made me so happy with it because believe me, it's not perfect, but I'm thrilled anyway. So let me know if there's anything that you guys want to see me make with the machine. Let me know if you want to see me paint this little guy and see if we can kind of get a cute little, uh, cute little friend to come out of this or a completed friend rather um, I would like to maybe start trying to use my airbrush machine a little bit more and this seems like the perfect opportunity so thank you so much for watching if you like what you saw feel free to like and subscribe I put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time and I would love for you to be here for the next one thanks again so so much and I hope to see you then bye